Hi guys, my name is Umair and welcome to Umair's workshop. Today I'm going to talk about the timer uh, which I use in my incubators and which can be uh, used to trigger any kind of electronics. So, which I have is here is timer which is name is CN101. Let's take it out. Alright, so it have this manual. You can read out all the information in it and this is here this is a timer really timer which can you use for about like 17 times in a day which means uh, every day for a week and one week is uh, which can be used for a whole year so if you just set it by one time it will uh, always uh, keep a memory of it and will not forget which time you have to do so let's see from the back side uh, its power is 12 volt which will be from here and it can trigger uh, 12 volt or 250 volt AC up to 16 ampere so CN101A you can search on eBay, Amazon, anything, anywhere else so it is a uh, simple uh, wiring I am going to show you be for being ultra simple I'm using this battery and I'm going to put it into the power which I have to put it it doesn't matter which you have to put anywhere the wire, red wire or black wire in any case just put it or you can use the ring or clips to join it out but I don't have right now so we just have to put it like this way and now what's going on it is on right now it's see this is a red light which means it's the relay is on so let's see what do we have here. so this is a manual is a manual if you press it it's going to change from off to auto and from auto to on which i purposely open it like forcefully I have forcefully open it so let's back to the auto and it's gone off what is the meaning of auto it have a lot of options here let me zoom it and now you can see it have program P for program day for day hour month and this is the lock key and this is a time which is this time and this is reset button so once we are going to go into the program we see one on and we press again we have one off so with that option we are going to get to the from 1 to 17 and then we came back on 6 1 so what does that mean that this is a whole one uh, programming one cent which you have to turn on likewise if i want to on it on 001 and we want it off press it again and press this hour and plus this button so you have set it number one on off setting to 001 it will turn on and 001 it will turn off so it uh, could, could be used for any kind of uh, purpose like for 001 minute minimum 1 minute to 24 hours so if you want to trigger anything so if you want to trigger anything you can use this option from here you uh, I've set it to 001 on setting when it will when the time will reach 000, zero it will turn on this like that and on 001 it will turn off whatever the plans you have created with it so back again to the programming let's more get depth into it 001 I have set it on the one and it will turn off at 001 so go back again it if I am going to put it again 
on which uh, setting I have to put it on I am going to put this 0 0 2 2 0 0 and I will turn it off on 2 0 1 means at the 2 2 uh, when the clock will get to 2 it will turn on and when it reaches 2 0 1 it will turn off so let's uh, make a live thing see if 5 3 5 12 so let's make 5 13 it will turn on and again press 1 press 1 of 5 sorry 5 14 right so okay i set it up and back to the prime when it reached 513 it will turn on and when it reached 514 it will turn off itself because i have programmed it so let's see what happens So at 5.13 it have turned on and when it will reach 5.14 it will turn off back. So this is how it is going to work. The wiring setting is same as I have told you before in my videos how to make a relay setting. It is going to be a relay, uh, maybe I am going to show you how to make a relay setting for this. So when it reaches 5.14 it is going to turn off back. Let's put it here. and. So it have turned off by itself. So that's how you are going to make all the settings by yourself at from this programming setting. So what about these days, hours and minutes? So let's see. If I want only a certain period of days, like only Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, not these days, then I'm going to put this day button sorry day button so see only those uh, days are showing which is going to turn on so only saturday sunday it's up to you see monday wednesday friday only Thir tuesday thursday saturday only monday tuesday wednesday only so like that but uh, we want all only one days a week like that and all the days so if it is up to you if you want to set it out so it will be the same maybe thing so if i set put so i have set to put it back again so it will be a mirror image of on one on to one off all right so maybe if you don't understand tell me maybe it is the maximum uh, amount of uh, teaching i can show you so let's see how to make something to trigger by this this is a simple wire this circuit is being powered by 12 volt let's see what I have to make work on so uh, this is a simple wire just take this two and put from here just cut it from this part half of it only half of it and then you will get two wires from it see it is a simplest method I am telling you otherwise you are going to be very confused about how to make it most of the people are not getting it anyway so I am making it ultra easy for you guys so please subscribe share this so here you have it was two wires and I have cut it one wire from the center 
just strip them off and put it okay go all right so that was the power as well as connected so it has got circuit anyway so uh, when the power was on here is a switch put those into them i highly recommend to use the clips because it may connect and get a short circuit anyway so it's just for tutorial so let's make it up i am making all of this effort just so you can understand the method of simple wiring of relay uh, you can use to make a soldering on it so it won't go anywhere else like that is it is so close so i'm going to put it back like that so yeah i have made the relay setting and then i'm going to put it into the this one is going to anything which you want to trigger like this one connected it from here and connect it from here 220 or 12 port so let's make it again i think i have burned it so i'm using another wire to connect power it up So it is a thing that you have to be careful when you are using this kind of electronics. I uh, wasn't using 20, 220, otherwise it would be a short circuit. So be careful when you are doing this kind of uh, experiments. So here it is going somewhere else. So why I'm making all this uh, in a live video like I'm not pausing anything like that because I want you to understand everything. So here it is, strip from here and strip from here and this, these two are going to go into that. So be sure that you are using it accordingly. First of all we are going to connect these two into here. The power settings here. Yeah. It comes with the clicks, but I don't have that. So here it will it is going. Be sure to twist it up so it won't go anywhere. And this one is going to this one. It is kind of uh, difficult for this kind of method I'm using and don't want to cut it out because I want you to understand everything about it. Here we go and for the safety I'm going to use uh, electrical tape on it so it won't happen again. just simply this is this is just for a showing work I'm not making it for the only a video just secure it like that all right so forget about this part right now you are going to power it up with the battery and for using this it also works on 12 port so let's connect this one here then we still see what happens
all right so it has powered this circuit right now let's see if it is working well okay it's working it doesn't get all right so uh, which uh, thing we have make over here for the motor part so I have told you how to do it just strip them from this part from this part I was knew that this video is going to be a long because uh, making and showing the full method is always difficult maybe and most of the time I am not going to edit it that far so just connect it to this Secure it with the tape. All right, so all right, so just put it back so it can we can see it is moving or not. There we go, and just strip this part. Right, so let's do this. The circuit is also being powered by the 12 volt, and the motor is also being powered by the 12 volt. So it just connect them with this wire as well. All right, so the circuit is also connected with this and the motor is also connected with this so be triggered for this i'm going to put 5.28 okay so 5.29 it is triggering this motor the uh, circuit is being powered by this 12 volt battery and the motor is also being powered by the 12 volt battery it could be connected to 20 volt so that's how you're going to connect this CN101A circuit to trigger any kind of appliances or circuits so here it is if you like this video uh, this kind of ultra easy uh, so please subscribe share and like this video and in the next upcoming videos, I am going to uh, show this circuit, this circuit's uh, settings in next video. So please push the bell button. So as soon as it is 5:30, it will turn off. See, so this is how you are going to use this CN101 in your incubator or any kind of appliances. So if you like, if you like this incubator setting, you can also watch my incubator videos in my channel. So please be sure to like, subscribe and share this video. My name is Mayer and thank you. Bye bye.